Welcome to this video on progress invoicing in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to walk you through how to do progress invoicing in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so the first thing that we've got to do, we've got the sample company file here. The first thing that you need to do is go up here to this gear icon and go to your account and settings. Okay. So over here, you're going to look under the sales tab, okay, and you're going to see an option here, progress invoicing, create multiple partial invoices from a single estimate. Okay, so you'll see this is off. Okay, so we want to turn that on and hit save. Okay, all right, so now we've got progress invoicing on. All right, so let's hit done. Okay, now this is going to come into play when uh, you do an estimate for a customer. And it could be that, you know, you're uh, going to invoice them as the, the project or the work uh, progresses, uh, depending on what you set up with them. You know, it could be like a percentage of completion or whatever the case may be. OK. All right. So the next thing is you've got to have an estimate to be able to progress invoice. OK, so we're going to go over to the sales tab over here and I'm going to show you here in this sample file. We don't have any estimates set up. OK. So I'm going to set up a quick estimate. All right. So if I go to new transaction, I go to estimate. Let's say that um, this is for Bill's windsurf shop. All right. And let's say that we're going to have some concrete. <clears throat> we'll make that $1,000. OK. And then we've got also some design, which is going to be We'll say $1,500. Okay, so the total estimate is $2,500. Okay, now I'm going to change this to accepted. Okay, and I'm not going to fill in the date or the buy, but I'll put in a date, let's say October 1st. Okay, so I'm not going to send this in this file, so we're going to hit save and close. Okay. So you'll see now when I'm under the sales tab, um, I've got one estimate. OK, so if I click that right there, you'll see my estimate right here and you'll see that you have the option of creating an invoice. So you go along, you're doing the work and you need to create an invoice. OK, so you can go here, you can click create invoice. And when you have progress invoicing set up in QuickBooks Online, it's going to ask you, how much do you want to invoice? OK. So you can you have a couple of options here. You're going to pick this usually at the end after you've already invoiced something. Uh, you can choose a percentage of each line or you can say custom amount for each line. OK, so let's just do this is pretty straightforward. 50 percent of each line. So let's say uh, custom amount for each line. OK. So when it pulls up the invoice here, you're going to see uh, that it's going to pull up the um, the invoice that it's creating. OK, so the amount OK, that's due, if we say a percent, let's say that for concrete, it's going to be zero percent because we haven't started pouring concrete yet. But let's say that the design is done. You can choose amount and put in fifteen hundred bucks or you can say percent. You know, let's say 100%. Okay. So it's going to build a $1,500. All right. So we say save and close. Okay. All right. So now we go back to the estimate screen and we say, okay, we've still got this estimate out here. Okay. And we say create invoice. And you can say remaining total of all lines. All right. Create the invoice. Okay. So it's going to now do the amount of $1,000 what's left. All right, because we've already invoiced uh, the $1,500 for the blueprints. OK, so we can hit save and close. And so now we've got no estimates out there. OK, if we go to the open estimate or invoices, you'll see we've got the two invoices out here, $1,000 and $1,500. OK. So that's how you progress invoice in QuickBooks Online. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave me a comment below. Happy to answer those for you. Uh, also, check out, uh, you know, when you need personal support with QuickBooks, with your company file and what you're doing, 
head on over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org, where I give personal support to all of our members uh, and answer every question they have as they're using QuickBooks. Hope to see you there, and I'll talk to you soon.